All right, beautiful. Thank you for joining me for a um, yoga class. My name is Holly. My pronouns are she, her. We're going to start with a few rounds of sun salutes to warm up our body, and then we will hop into 26 and 2 yoga, 26 postures, and 2 breathing exercises. If at any point something does not feel good for your body, remember that you are in control here. You can always um, take a different variation of a posture. You can take a break. You can do something entirely. Yoga can get us out of our comfort zone from time to time, and that's okay. But we're never going to a point of pain or a point where we know that we won't feel good tomorrow. For the sun salutes, you can come towards the top of your mat with your feet close together. I'm going to stand back a bit and show you in periphery. You can rock your weight into your toes and into your heels, maybe back and forth, side to side. And then evenly distribute your body weight on both feet. Stand up nice and tall as you start to arrive in your yoga practice. Bring your hands together at heart center. And we'll begin by saluting Surya, the god of sun. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Look up as if you're saluting or greeting the sun. Exhale through your nose, bend your knees, fold forward, hands to floor, relax your head. Inhale through your nose, look forward and lengthen into a halfway lift. You can have your hands on the floor, your shins, or your thighs. Exhale, hands to floor, shoulder width distance, step back into a plank or tabletop position. On your next exhale, lean forward, hug your elbows in, pull yourself down to the floor. Inhale, push up into a back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor, or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. You can bend one knee, straighten the other, pedal out your legs, and then press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. You're also welcome to come onto your knees and take a child's pose instead. Sink your hips back as you reach your arms forward. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift, shoulders out of the ears. Exhale as you fold, knees can bend, head hangs heavy. Inhale, arms with your ears, root to rise, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down. Let's try that again. Inhale, lift. Slow exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, neck long, back flat. Exhale, step back, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, your up dog or cobra, keep your shoulders out of your ears, neck long. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog, or sink your hips back for child's pose. Either way, spread your fingers wide, root down through all of your knuckles, your palms, and the space between your index finger and thumb. So especially if you're in down dog, you're not putting all of your body weight on your wrists. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, hips over heels. Exhale, fold, keep your eyes open. Inhale, look forward, arms with your ears, scoop your chest as you lift up. Exhale, hands down. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Connect to the breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back. Keep exhaling. Lower down. Inhale, your up dog or cobra. Exhale, your down dog or child's pose. Take a slow inhale and a slow exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, salute the sun. Exhale, hands down. Beautiful, that's our little warm up. We will now hop into 26 and two yoga. Come to the middle of your space with your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely for two sets of pranayama, standing deep breathing. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin like glue. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You've made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. Slowly push your head back. Reach your arms forward. Keep exhaling. Elbows touch. Inhale, elbows out and arms up. Slowly bring your chin down, look straight ahead, lift your elbows all the way up, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Elbows touch, pointing to the wall in front of you. Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, 
As you exhale, open your mouth wide like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. Elbows touch, lungs empty. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far, breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs to the bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. Keep the weight in your heels. Contract your quads and glutes. Suck your stomach in. Exhale, head up. Lock your legs. Weight stays in the heels. Pull your abdomen in. Lift your chest up. Elbows touch. Triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down. Let's make this the last breath in the first set. Deepest breath of your day. Spine a little longer. Elbows a little higher. Lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in. Breathe deep. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Eyes open. Hips forward. Legs locked. Stomach in. Keep exhaling. Push. Squeeze. Elbows touch. Change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together. Interlock your 10 fingers, switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top. Bring your knuckles underneath your chin like glue. Squeeze your thighs and glutes, pull your abdomen in, grow taller out of the base of your spine and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly push your head back, reach your arms forward, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, three, two, elbows touch, one. Inhale, head down, use the full six seconds to inhale, take in more and more and more air. Exhale, head up, use the full six seconds to exhale. There's no rush, slowly head back, arms forward, elbows touch, lungs empty. Inhale, head down, I'll do a few with you. Breathe deep, full lungs, exhale. Elbows touch, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, deepest breath so far. Exhale. Inhale, head down, last breath. Second set, deepest breath of your life. When your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath, any worries, any cares, let them go, be here now, elbows touch. Change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. We'll continue, Ardha Chandrasana with Padastrasana, half moon with hands to feet pose. Feet together, arms up, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, nice tight white knuckle grip, stretch up out of your waist and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, press your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, head and arms back, touch your biceps to your ears, engage your abdominal wall. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Keep the weight in your heels. Contract your quads and glutes, lock your legs. Press your hips a little forward, pull your abdomen in, upper body back, lift your chin and chest. Push your left hip a little forward, get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, beautiful. Option to stay here or get a little deeper at the end, come down, push, push, push. 
change. Inhale to come up, stop in the middle. Shoulders down, chin up, chest up, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly bend to the left, press your hips to the right, breathe in and out through your nose. Let your breath be your guide in class. If at any point you can't breathe, you're holding your breath or you have to gasp for air, that's probably a sign you've gone a little too far. You wanna flood your body with oxygen the whole time you practice so that there's no lactic acid afterwards. Keep the weight in your heels, contract the quads and glutes, press the hips forward, pull your abdomen in, slide your breastbone up, right hip a little forward, left shoulder a little forward, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up. First back bend of the day, take a deep breath. Full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head back. And now you'll do little sips of air off of that big pocket of air in your lungs. Relax your head back, look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. Whole spine backward bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, bend your total spine backward bending. Keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs. Inhale, breathing, push your stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward. Exhale, breathing, arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change. Inhale to come up, big stretch up, decompress the spine. Exhale, stomach in, bend your knees, fold hands to floor, relax your head and neck. Go for a walk, you can bend one knee, straighten the other, move your hips right and left, try to keep your heels on the floor. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Padastasana, hands to feet pose, stomach in, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath, step on all 10 fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine of the floor. Pull in is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes with a smiling, happy face. Roll forward like a wheel, lift your hips up, push your knees back, stretch your spine down. Change, come on up, arms with ears, knees can bend as you lift up. Float your arms down, and you stand a little taller. Second set, feet together, arms up, palms together, switch the grip, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, other thumb, pinky finger on top, root down through your heels, stretch up out of your waistband spine, try to touch the ceiling, and slowly bend to the right, press your hips to the left. Squeeze your palms together, so palms flat, wrists straight, Arms with the ears, keep your chin and chest lifted. You're stretching the left side body and toning the right side body, don't collapse. As we wake up the spine, when our spine is tight, which is like most people, the knees and elbows will wanna buckle. Try to keep the arms and legs long so that your spine can start to move. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle, shoulders down, chin up, chest up, stomach in, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly bend to the left, press your hips to the right, mouth closed, eyes open, focus forward. If your eyes are wandering, your mind is wandering, let this be some time just for you. Keep the weight in your heels, hips forward, arms back. Push your right hip a little forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Option to stay here, or you can use your breath to get a little deeper at the end. On the inhale, lengthen the arms. And on the exhale, come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, second heart opener. Squeeze your palms together, keep your eyes open and relax your head back. Squeeze your glutes, you can relax your stomach, lift your chest, and take your arms back with your ears. So again, keep the arms and legs strong. So we started by bending the spine right, left, right, and now we're going backwards. Press the heels down, push the hips forward, lift the chest up, squeeze the palms together. Can you lengthen through the arms and legs just a little bit more? Arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change, and heel to come up, stretch. Exhale, stomach in, fold, hands to floor, relax your head. Go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. Take a beat. 
Padasasana, hands to feet, bend your knees. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels. All five fingers together, thumbs with index fingers, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Slide your stomach down, thighs, chest down the knees, maybe even face down the shins. One day, top of the head touches the top of the feet, never forcing the body. Roll forward into the big toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, pull and stretch. Try to lock your knees. Change, come on up. Arms of the ears, knees can bend as you lift yourself up. Beautiful, float your arms down. Let that one go. Awkward, Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right about hip width distance. Keep the insides of your feet parallel like 11s. Arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight. All five fingers together, thumbs with your index fingers. Reach your arms forward, pull your abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Very nice, feet flat position. Spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in and lift your upper body off your lower body. Reach your arms forward, send your hips back, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, change. Come on up, keep your arms there. Press your hips forward, concentrate and meditate. Come up maximum on your tippy tippy toes like a ballerina. Stretch up at the top, bend your knees, sit down and lean back. Engage your core, lift your pelvic floor. Lift your heels a little higher. Knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, last part, come on up, still breathing. Squeeze your knees together, let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time, listen to your body, stop whenever you want or keep sitting down and stop when there's a half inch gap between hips and heels, so you're not quite resting. Squeeze your knees together and forward. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the thighs, spine perfectly straight from the side, looks like you're holding a box. Change, slowly come up, push the floor away from you. Nice heels down, right foot back, arms and shoulders down, breathe. Step your right foot to the right, same footprint, insides of your feet parallel, arms up parallel to the floor, Reach your arms forward, pull abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down. So your posture might look like this or this, right? Or you can start to sit down more. Your arms are your counterbalance. Move your hips back. Lift your chin and chest up. Keep your neck long. Lift your chin up, chest up. Change. Press the floor away from you. Push your hips forward. Concentrate. Meditate. Levitate. Lift your heels. Maybe a little higher in the second set. Stretch up and sit down. Keep your core tight. So rather than leaning forward, you want to lean back. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher. Sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, last part. Still breathing, come on up, squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time, listen to your body. Keep the hips slightly lifted, shoulders soft, jaw relaxed. Take a breath at your deepest point. Change, slowly come up, stomach in. Nice, heels down, right foot back, arms and shoulders down. Eagle pose, Garudasana, we'll do the right side first. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, swing right arm under left arm, right elbow under left elbow. Cross first at your elbows. Again, if you can at your wrists, palms together, thumbs towards your nose. You can also interlace fingers, grab a thumb, or grab your shoulders and give yourself a big bear hug for practicing yoga. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit back and down, hips into a chair. Stay down there, lean back and bring right leg over left leg as high as possible. Right leg over left leg, cross, twist, squeeze, and breathe. So your posture might look like this or this or somewhere in between. Depth of posture does not equal depth of yoga practice. It does not matter what a posture looks like or how deep you go into it. it matters how it makes you feel, what you're learning about yourself, right? Move your hips back and down, pull the elbows down, upper body back, change. Feet together, arms up, let's do the left side. Swing left arm under right arm, palms together, thumbs towards your nose, pinkies away from your face, pull elbows down. Bend your knees, move your hips back, just like the first part of chair pose. Keep your hips low, you can lean back slightly and bring your left leg over your right leg. This side might look or feel different from the other side, it does for me, that's okay, we are not symmetrical. On this side, you wanna move your hips a little to the left, upper body to the right, elbows and knees in line. 
Notice if the weight is in the ball of your foot or your toes. Move your hips back, so move the weight back into your heel. And then if you'd like to get a little deeper, sit down and lean back, take a breath. Beautiful, change feet together, arms up, second set, here we go. Swing right arm, under left arm, pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit back, lean back, your hips low, and bring right leg over left leg. Push your top leg into your bottom leg. If your foot is wrapped, try to eliminate the gap between right ankle and left calf muscle. If your hands are in prayer, flatten the palms, straighten the wrists, maybe even, even out the fingertips. Knees a little to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, sit down, lean back, change. Feet together, arms up, last one, here we go. Swing left arm, under right arm. Notice if your hands are to the right of your face, bring your hands to center, right shoulder down, pull elbows down, sit back and down, Lean back and bring left leg over right leg. Relax your face, seal your lips, breathe. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right. Twist like rope, sit down, upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms up, arms down. Party time, you can grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers. Okay, let us continue. I'm going to tilt this camera slightly. Let us continue. Standing, head to knee, Dandayamana, Janusharasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back. Option to stay here or round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. From start to finish, standing leg should be solid, concrete, lamp post, unbroken, you have no knee. Option to stay in the setup. If you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble, inhale. Slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, take a breath. If both legs lock, start to bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Hold and breathe at your deepest point. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Slowly straighten your arms. Bend your right leg and return your right foot to the floor. Shift your weight to your right leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot without grabbing the floor with your toes. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, lift your pelvic floor, engage your abdominal wall. Option to stay here or start to round down and pick up your foot. You're also welcome to start with your knee higher into your chest so that you don't round your spine as much in the setup. You can stay here or as you're ready, slowly, gently lift your left leg up. And it's a real kick your heel forward, flex your toes back. Again, when the spine is tight, the knee might start to buckle. Try to lift your hips up, knee over ankle. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an L like Linda, lengthen the arms and legs, and then slowly round down. So you're starting to squeeze and compress into the abdominal wall, stomach in. Move your heel forward, hip forward, toes back. Change, arms straight, bend your left leg, left foot down. You can put your hands on your back, do a little back bend hmm. or an even second set shift your weight to your left leg lock your left leg lift your right leg up flex your toes back round down and pick up your right foot concentrate meditate don't forget to have fun inhale right leg up both legs lock bend elbows down tuck chin to chest put your forehead on your knee hold for five Four, three, two, one. Bring your head up, arms straight, bend your right leg, right foot back down. Nice. Shift your weight to your right leg, that was great. Lock your right leg, lift your left leg up, toes back, stomach in, round down, pick up your foot. Can you keep your big toe on the floor the whole time? Lock your right leg, inhale, left leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. When you're ready, tuck chin to chest. Put your forehead on your knee. If you fell out like I did, just hop back in. Hold and breathe at your deepest point. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change slowly, bring your head up, arms straight. Bend your left leg, left foot back down. 
Very nice. Standing bow pulling pose. Dandayamana, Dhanurasana. Feet together. Bring your right hand up. Elbow touches the body. Palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right. Give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Yes, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone, thumb with your index finger. Try to get your hips in line so that one hip isn't higher than the other. Bring your left arm up and back with your ear, knees together to start. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin and chest, option to stay here or take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. Keep your chin and chest lifted. My body is telling me to go back into the setup, so I'm gonna stay here, but I will walk you through going deeper into the posture if you would like. Slowly bring your body down and your leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up until your right shoulder disappears behind your left shoulder. In other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder, shoulder blade scapula stretching away from the body. Bring the body down more, leg up more, charge your body forward, kick back, kick up to the ceiling, kick up one more time. Change, slowly come out of the posture, beautiful. Feet together, arms down. <laughs> My balance is a little off today. Take a breath. <laughs> Bring your left hand up, out to the left. Reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, thumb with your index finger. Lift your right arm up. Bring your arm back with your ear, thighs together, hips in line. Lift your right kneecap, point your left toes. Lift your shoulder and chin, option to stay here or stretch up and slowly kick into your hand. Simultaneously, charge your body forward. So this is a great posture for stretching out the hip flexor of the kicking foot, right? You're also strengthening the whole back of the kicking legs. So you're strengthening your glute, your hamstring, your, your calf. Think about kicking back and kicking up. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. At the same time, it's a really good way to open the shoulders and chest. Kicking and stretching forward should be equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever body day. Down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Change, slowly press yourself up, feet together, arms down, breathe. Bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle, left arm up, bicep with your knees together. Lift your left kneecap, point your right toes, lift your chin and chest, stretch up, and slowly kick stretch, breathe, kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. The more you come down, the more cardiovascular the posture becomes. Just make sure that you're not coming down with a flat back, right? Keep your chin and chest lifted as you kick back and up. Body down more, leg up more, charge your body forward, kick, kick, kick. Change, slowly press yourself up, feet together, arms down, left hand up. Out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, right arm up, knees together. Lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, lift your chin and chest, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. Even in a balancing posture, in the middle of summer with a little bit of an increased heart rate, can you still connect to the breath? In and out through the nose. Always coming back to the breath in a moving meditation. Bring the body down, leg up. Reach your right shoulder forward a little bit more when they shoulder and chin touch. Body down, leg up, kick back, kick up, kick up one more time. Change, slowly come out of the posture, feet together, arms down. Come to the back of your mat, Tula Dandasana, balancing stick. Feet together, arms up, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, lean back, stretch up. Step your right foot forward, shift your weight to your right foot, stretch, point your left toes, option to stay here, or start to come down parallel to the floor. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor from the side. Body makes a T like Tom, no broken umbrellas, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, left foot down, right foot back, 
lean back, stretch up, step your left foot forward, shift your weight to your left foot, stretch, point your right toes, option to stay here or come down. Charge your body forward, try to touch the wall in front of you, shoulder blade, scapula stretching away from your body. Uh, keep your arms with your ears, even if you don't go as far into the posture. Change, right foot down, left foot back, float your arms down, breathe. Arms up, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, other thumb, pinky finger on top, nice tight grip, lean back, already stretching up out of the waist, step your right foot forward, lock both legs, stretch, point your left toes and come down. Keep your eyes open, mouth closed, jaw relaxed, every other muscle in the body contracting, chest down, chin forward, leg up, leg up, leg up. Change, left foot down, right foot back, big stretch up, stomach in, Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch and come down. Remember T like Tom, no broken umbrellas. Lock your arms and legs, flatten out your back, body down more, leg up more, stretch, 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 change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down, enough of that. You can come to the top of your yoga mat or yoga space. If you're on a mat, face the long side of your mat, I will face you. Standing separate legs, stretching, Dande Amana, Water is good. We got the Pada Paschimottanasana. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, nice big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in, heels out, lock your legs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. I drank so much water today and I'm realizing like I am still a little bit dehydrated. It's that time of year. You can start with your hands on the floor. You can also grab the outsides of your feet or your heels from behind. Step on all 10 fingers. Pull on your heels. Pull your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, lock your knees. First the legs stretching, then the hips stretching, lower spine, full spine, full body stretching. Three, 60 degree angle stretching, coccyx to toes, coccyx to forehead, roll forward one more time, touch your head to the floor, in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up, take your time. Step your right foot back to the place, arms up, arms down, breathe. Second set, arms up, step your right foot to the right, nice big step, arms down parallel to the floor. You can play around with turning your toes in more in the second set. We're taking a bigger step, especially if your forehead didn't touch the floor. Lock your legs, lift from your heart and fold forward. Now, especially if your knees are bending right, you can start with your hands on the floor in front of you, walk your hands forward as much as you need to to lift your hips up, contract the quadricep muscles, lengthen the legs so the backs of the legs can stretch safely and effectively, never forcing the body. If your legs are long, hips over heels, you can try grabbing your feet. And if you have a grip on your feet, bend your elbows back, elbows to calf, shoulders to ceiling, belly button to spine. Everybody roll forward, lift your hips up, pull, stretch, breathe, and if your head is an inch or two away from the floor, relax your head down, head touches the floor in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up, stomach in. Very nice, step your right foot back to the left, arms up, arms down. Triangle, trikonasana. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, nice big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Press your hips forward, lean back, turn your right foot out, left toes in, bend your right knee and lunge. You can bounce a couple times to warm up the hips and knees. Sit down low, push your hips forward, lean back, and move your arms at the same time. Elbow in front of the knee, aim your fingertips between your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor, don't push any weight on the floor. If your thigh is not parallel to the floor like me, rather than coming all the way down, stay lifted so you have a 45 degree angle from your ankle to the crown of your head. Look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, breathe through your nose. Push your left hip forward and down, stomach in. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow, chest up. Now turn, twist upper body back like spine twisting posture. Lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, move your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your left knee and lunge. You can bounce a couple of times to warm up the hips and knees. Make sure that your knee is not going beyond your ankle. You want your knee directly over your ankle. Sit down, press your hips forward, lean back, 
and move your arms at the same time. Aim your fingertips towards your big and second toe. Keep your core tight, never quite touching the floor. Look up towards the ceiling, look for your right thumb. One day thumb and nose in line. Reach your right arm up, stretch your left arm down, push your right hip forward and down, push your left knee back with the help of your elbow. Now roll your right rib cage back, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, block your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, move your arms, straighten your leg, left toes in, right foot back, arms up, arms down, breathe. Second set, arms up, palms together. Step your right foot to the right, nice big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Press your hips forward, stretch the crown of your head up, turn your right foot out, maybe left toes in a little bit, bend your right knee and lunge. You want your knee directly over your ankle. Sit down, lean back, and move your arms at the same time. Think about dropping your tailbone down. So rather than sticking your butt out and doing a back bend, right, you want to engage your core so the lower back stays relatively flat. You can push your left hip forward if that helps you drop the tailbone down. Now push your right knee back so your knee is directly over your ankle, not to the left of your ankle. Look up and stretch up, sit down more, chest up more, turn, twist upper body back, lock your left leg, keep your left foot stable and flat on the floor. Change stomach in as you come up, rotate your arms, straighten your leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line, inhale, bend your left knee and lunge, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Also notice if you're leaning way, for, way forward and sticking your butt out, try to keep your shoulders over hips. Um, for hypermobile people, you might also notice that the right arm can come back. Keep your arms stacked six and 12 on a clock. So think about twisting from your spine rather than from the right shoulder. Look up and stretch up, push your right hip forward, push your left knee back, now turn, twist upper body back, like spine twisting posture, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, move your arms, straighten your leg, left toes in, right foot back to the place, arms up, arms down, breathe. Slow exhale. Standing separate leg, head to knee, Dandayamana, Vikatha Pada, Janu Shirasana. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up, palms together, cross your thumbs. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, nice generous step. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels. Turn your back toes in, squeeze your left glutes, push your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips in line, two heels in line. Backside foot makes a 45 degree angle. Inhale, stretch up. Slow exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest, pull your abdomen in, bend your front leg if you need to, touch your forehead to your knee, never force your body. If you, like me, cannot touch your head to your knee, that's okay. Focus on what you can do rather than what you can't do. First of all, make sure that you're breathing. You then might focus on alignment. Everyone shift your weight to your front foot, right hip up, left hip forward, two hips in line. Focus on the compression, pull the abdomen in, tuck the chin to the chest, and maybe focus on balance as well. Walk your hands together in prayer, thumbs crossed. Push your forehead into your knee, walk both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl, push your front foot into the floor as you come up, head up last. Shift your weight into your heels, Pick up your toes and pivot 180 degrees to the other side of your mat. Uncross your heels, turn your back toes in, push your right hip forward one, two, three, four, five times. Inhale, stretch up, slow exhale, chin to chest, go down, round, scoop, curl, tuck, concave, chin to chest, stomach in, bend your front leg if you need to, touch your forehead and knee together, front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Stretch your fingers forward beyond your big and second toe. Bring your weight to your front foot, left hip up, right hip forward, two hips and shoulders in line. So both sides of your back round without twisting your spine. Push your forehead into your knee, lift your kneecaps, lock your leg, stabilize your joints, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl, right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Pivot on your heels, right foot back, Float your arms down, breathe. Arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, other thumb on top. Step your right foot to the right, three to four feet. Pick up your toes and pivot. 
Turn your back toes in. Push your left hip forward one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips in line, two heels in line. Backside foot makes a 45 degree angle. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, chin to chest, go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You can't see your front foot all the way down. Maybe in the second set, it's a little easier to touch your forehead to your knee. Maybe you even start to slide your forehead onto your thigh. This is a compression posture. We're squeezing and compressing into the abdominal wall. Keep your chin to your chest, but relax your jaw. Push your forehead into your knee. Lock both legs, hands together. Change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, arms of ears, head up last. Pivot on your heels. I'll face you for the last one. Heels are in line, but they're not crisscrossed, right? That'll make it a little harder to balance. Also, palms together, pinkies touch. Big stretch up, chin to chest, slowly go down. This is a moving meditation. Notice how your body moves in every asana. Feel your spine rounding, chin to chest. You might focus on balance. Keep your hands together. Tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open. Breathing normal. Stretch your fingers forward beyond your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your front foot. Left hip up, right hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee. Lock both legs, hands together. Change, feel your palms pressing together, chin to chest, biceps with ears, head up last. Pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat for the hip opening series. We'll begin with tree pose, Tadasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. Heel to costume, slowly, gently, let your right knee drop down and back into a half lotus shape, never force your body. Right hand to the center of your chest. If you can balance without your foot falling, left hand. Elbows down, tailbone down, stretch the crown of your head up. Change, right leg down. Shift your weight to your right leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot and lift your left leg up. Heel to groin, let your left knee drop down and back. This side might feel different from the other side. It does for me, that's okay. You can bring one or both hands together. On this side, my foot falls. I'm gonna hold on to my foot. Press your hips forward, drop your shoulders down, stretch the crown of your head up. Take a soothing breath in through the nose. Slow exhale through the nose. Change, left leg down. You can do a second set of tree pose, maybe focusing on opening the hips a little bit more, opening the knees. You can also try toe stand, look towards the floor. Lock your leg, lift your right leg up. Anywhere above the knees, great. Anywhere on the thigh. You can bring one or both hands together. Concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Start to fold forward. Hands to floor, option to stay here or lean forward. Lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Point your right toes, stretch the crown of your head up. Left hand to the center of your chest. Right hand, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. When you're ready, hands to floor, you can come up on two feet or push your hands into the floor. Lift your hips up, straighten your standing leg, heel down, and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Nice change. Softly put your right foot on the floor, block your right leg, lift your left leg up, let your left knee drop. If your foot has a tendency to fall below your knee, you can hold on to your foot, otherwise hands in prayer. Look towards the floor, it helps with balance, concentration, meditation, focus on one unmoving spot. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Hands to floor, option to stay here or lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips, point your left toes, drop your shoulders, chest up. Left hand to the center of your chest, right hand, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Hands to the floor in front of you, option to come up on two feet or lift your hips up, straighten your standing leg, heel down, and then press your hips forward and lift yourself up. Good, change, left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. We are on the floor for the rest of class. I'm going to adjust our camera angle a bit. Okay, great. Bring your heels together. Let your toes fall open. Arms down by your side, palms face the ceiling. Eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal.
Take an inhale to your nose, feel your body rise. Exhale, body fall. Breathe in and empty out. I got to see one of my favorite bands growing up last year, it's, or last night, I should say. It's a band called Rage Against the Machine, which some of you may have heard of. And um, they're like a very politically conscious rock band that's been around for a while. And I was supposed to see them in 2020 and then COVID happened. So this was like a big deal to finally get to see them. And I was kind of laughing because, you know, on the one hand, their songs are a lot of about anti-capitalism, but of course the show was at Climate or at, uh, at Capital One Arena in DC, which was making me laugh. But the, the lead singer, Zach De La Roca, um, who's again, very um, like socially and politically conscious, he injured himself at a concert a couple of weeks ago. And so he had to be seated. And, you know, if you're familiar with him or with that band, it's, it's high energy and it's a lot of like jumping and running around and kind of like dancing around the stage. So I was kind of wondering what that would look like for him to be seated for the whole show, right? Because it's, it's, they're called Rage Against the Machine. It's kind of like angry, uh, energetic music. And I was like, I don't know about the lead singer just sitting there, but I, as I was watching it, I was like, wow, what an ableist assumption that I made because I've never seen someone command an entire stage and, and thousands of people, right? It's a sold out show in an arena, just sitting there, right? And even though he couldn't stand up, he was still moving every part of his body um, that he could move or that felt good to move. And he was still like so energetic and so into um, his, you know, his lyrics and the band. And it was a great show and it really did not feel like it detracted um, from the energy of the show to have him seated the whole time. And I was just thinking about, you know, sometimes when we're injured, we're dealing with an illness and we come to a yoga practice, it can be, at least for me, so easy to focus on like what I can't do rather than what I can do. And watching him last night was like such a reminder of like, even if you just come to a yoga class and decide that you're going to lay on your mat and take a nap for an hour, or even if you do the, you know, the breathing exercise seated in a chair, right? I've seen people practice this yoga in chairs, using props, using walls, using tables, um, focus on what you can do rather than what you cannot do. I was like really inspired last night um, watching someone who wasn't able to use one of their legs still able to give like a really powerful performance. And I think that's true in a yoga space as well. Take an inhale, body rise. Exhale, body fall. You are so very alive. Pavana Mutasana, winter moving pose. Bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers. Grab your right shin, nice tight, white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor. Without lifting your head, tuck your chin in slightly. Look down the center line of your body. Hold and breathe. Change, right leg down. Bend your left leg up, interlock your 10 fingers. Nice tight grip. Pull your knee out to the left, down towards your shoulder. Keep your two shoulders on the floor, two hips on the floor, right leg on the floor. If your right calf muscle does not naturally touch the floor, flex your right toes back to anchor right side body down. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows, each other, give yourself a big hug for coming to class. Squeeze your knees together and down. Keep your head on the floor. Without lifting your head, tuck your chin in slightly, look down the center line of your body, hold and breathe eventually or in the future, when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down and eyes open. Second set, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top, pull your knee out and down, push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip. Pull, squeeze, breathe. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Can you bring your knee a little closer to your shoulder in the second set, never forcing the body, but purposely putting pressure on the lower abdomen, good for digestion. Change, left leg down, both legs up, grab your elbows, give yourself another hug, squeeze your knees together and down, relax your feet. Keep your heels together side by side, not crisscross. When you line up your heels, you start to line up your hips, and by extension, the rest of the body can start to lengthen and realign. 
change, arms down and eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, skip the sit up. Roll off to the side, meet on your abdomen. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Turn, lie on your abdomen for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, so your elbows point up. Zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, push your hands flat into the floor, look up and lift. Very nice. Stretch your upper body off the floor. Use 100% spine strength. Come up halfway only. Elbows stay bent. They make an L, a 90 degree angle. Hug your arms into your sides. Roll your shoulders back and down away from your ears, elbows to hips, big toes to back wall, fingers point forward. Lock your legs, squeeze your glutes. Press the tops of your feet, hips and hands flat into the floor. Now look up. Chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up, and change. Slowly with control, lower down, very nice. Look to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, big toes together, heels fall open. Take an inhale, feel your body rise. And then exhale, body fall. Second set, chin forward, place your hands flat on the floor just below your shoulders so your elbows point up. Zip up your legs, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your glutes, look up and lift. Very nice, stretch your upper body off the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blade scapula together, open through your heart space. Um, in this posture, we're strengthening the back. We're stretching out the shoulders and chest where a lot of us hold some tension. We're strengthening through the hands pardon me, through the arms and the legs as we press our feet, hips, and hands down. That's also good for digestion, right? You're kind of massaging the front of your body almost to the end. Lock your legs, press your feet, hips, and hands down, lift your chest up. Good, change, lower down, look to your left, right here on your mat, arms down, heels open. As we look left and right, it's a gentle twist opening to the neck and shoulder, but it can be a little intense. So if you have any neck or shoulder pain as you look left and right, you can bend one or both arms so that your hands are close to your face, and that'll take some pressure off of the neck and shoulder. Bring your chin forward for locus, shalabhasana, arm straight position, rotate your arms, palms face the floor. Option to keep your arms out to the side or bring your arms underneath you. One day pinky fingers touch, but hands never overlap. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up. To a 45 degree angle, half of 90, see the foot come directly over the top of your head. Roll forward, leg up, change, right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, and lift your left leg up. Imagine you're drawing a line up the back wall, use your big toe, press down through your knuckles, squeeze your biceps and triceps, shoulder down, leg up, change, left leg down, tuck your chin and mouth down, you can bring your arms a little closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide, zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, roll forward and lift both legs up. Roll forward like a wheel, press your shoulders down, press your knuckles down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, lift your legs up, change, lower down, take your arms out, look to your right, left ear on your mat, breathe. Second set, chin forward, arms straight, rotate your arms, palms down, and keep your arms out to the side or bring them underneath you, stretching out tendons and ligaments in the arms and hands. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up. Keep your left leg relaxed. Right leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken, you have no knee. Lift your leg, change, right leg down, relax right leg, relax your jaw. Lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. So yoga is about finding what parts of your body to contract and what parts of your body to relax, right? So relax the jaw, lock your left leg, lift your heel up, change, left leg down. Third part, chin in slightly, mouth down. So your neck stays long, arms a little closer, spread your fingers wider, lock your legs, point your toes, roll forward and lift both legs up. In the second set, you can try opening your feet if that helps you lift up higher and then squeeze the inner thighs back together. Lock your legs, point your toes, roll forward, legs up, change, lower down. Take your arms out, releasing the tourniquet from un tourniquet effect from under the body. Look to your left, right here on your mat and take a slow breath. 
Picture highly oxygenated blood flowing through your shoulders, elbows, wrists, all the way into the fingertips. Kurnashalabhasana, full locus, chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings. Zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your back, point your toes, look up and lift. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. Beautiful, like a jumbo jet taking off just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Look up towards the ceiling where your eyes go, body knows to follow. Squeeze your inner thighs together, lock your legs, point your toes, lift your thighs up, chin up chest up, arms up, arms back, come up a little higher at the end. Good change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to your left, maybe whole left ear on your mat. Rather than looking around, do a soft fuzzy gaze just at the edge of your mat. So you're not closing your eyes and checking out, but you're also not, you know, super alert and you give your eyes a little bit of a break, give your brain a little bit of a break, less to process in the room. Second set, chin forward, arms out, knees, feet together, lock your legs, squeeze your glutes, point your toes, look up and lift, press your hips down, everything else lifting off the floor. In this posture, we're strengthening all of the muscles that surround the spine. We're opening up through the chest and shoulders. We're also strengthening the arms and legs. Keep the arms nice and long, legs nice and long, point your toes, engage your glutes, lock your legs, thighs up, chin up, chest up, arms up, arms back, come up a little higher at the end. And change softly lower down, tuck in your wings look to your left, right ear on your mat, breathe. All you have to do is breathe. Bring your chin forward, Ghanarasana floor bow. Chin forward, bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, thumbs with your index fingers, start with your knees and feet close together. Point your toes, squeeze your glutes, look up to the ceiling, and start to kick into your hands. Very nice, continuously keep kicking. That's so nice without stopping, without intermission. It's the kick that drives the posture. Roll forward once, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Squeeze your inner thighs together so your knees don't go too much wider than your hips. Knees in, feet out, wrists straight. Point your toes, look up to the ceiling, almost to the end. Kick and kick and kick. Change, lower down, look to your right. Relax your jaw. As you inhale, feel your ribs expand. And as you exhale, feel your ribs contract. Chin forward, bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, thumbs with your index fingers, start with knees, feet close together, squeeze your glutes, point your toes, look up and kick. So we're stretching out our chest, shoulders and arms. We're strengthening our back, doing a little back bend. We're also strengthening the backs of our legs. Kick from your glutes, kick from your hamstrings, kick from your calves, continuously keep kicking without center mission. Keep kicking, keep breathing, look up to the ceiling, kick, 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 change, lower down. Look to your left right here on your mat, let that one go. Send deep belly breaths in and out through your nose to massage the front of your body. Breathe deep into any point of tension, let the floor hold you up. Bring your chin forward. Place your hands on the floor, press yourself up. Come to the top of your mat for fixed firm Supta Vajrasana. This is the fixed firm series for this posture and the next four, the tops of our feet, ankles, shins, and knees will be firmly fixed on the floor. Then start in tabletop, open your knees and feet. 
As you're ready, start to sink your hips down towards the floor. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. You can open up your knees wider if that helps you sit down. If you can sit between your heels and you're not in pain, you can stay here, or you can place your hands on your feet and start to play around. Right elbow down, stopping anywhere you feel a point of pain. Left elbow down, knees never come off the floor. Head back, head to floor. Tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. Wherever you are is perfect. You want a gentle stretch through your toes, ankles, knees, quads, and hips, but never a point of pain. Change, put your hands on your feet, press yourself up. Very nice, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Bring your heels together, let your toes fall open, arms down by your sides, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Concentrate and meditate. Legs together, arms overhead, chin to chest, sit up. Keep your heels on the floor as you sit up. <laughs> Come to the top of your mat, fixed firm. You can try keeping your knees together in the second set, or if it helps you to sit down more, open your knees even wider. Start to sit down between your heels. You can stay right here. You can also put palms to soles, left elbow down, right elbow down, head to floor, chin in. Back shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows and breathe. Place your hands on your feet and change. Press yourself up, turn around, Savasana. As you release out of the posture, you get a nice rush of blood through your toes ankles, knees, hips. Sometimes the release from a posture can be as therapeutic as the posture itself. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good, come to the back of your mat, half tortoise, Ardha Karmasana, I'm showing you from the side. You can sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels. You can always start by standing on your shins if it hurts to sit on your feet. And in any of these postures, you can roll up your mats. So there's extra padding under any delicate joints. Bring your arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, inhale, stretch up, stomach in, exhale, fold. Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor. You can always walk your hands in and out of this posture as well. Press your palms together, tilt your pinky fingers down, elbows and wrists off the floor. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips back, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, come on up, arms with ears, squeeze knees and feet together, arms down, turn around, savasana. There's always different ways to get in and out of these postures. There's different variations within the postures. Um, same thing with the sit-ups, right? If it's easier for you to roll up or roll off to the side, you're welcome to. The sit-ups, like everything else we do, are optional. You can always skip them and roll off to the side. They're hurting your back. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, biceps with ears, chin to chest, sit up. <sighs> Elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Wonderful turn, come to the back of your mat, second set, knees, feet together, hips on your heels. And again, if you'd rather walk yourself in and out of the posture, you're well, I felt like a mind there, you're welcome to. Otherwise, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, other thumb on top, inhale, lengthen, stomach in, exhale, fold. Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips back, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize, stretch.
change. Come on up. Very nice. Arms down, turn around, Savasana. With every Savasana, picture your spine getting a little longer as your body relaxes down onto the floor and let the floor hold you up. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Great. Come to the top of your mat for camel, ustrasana, or deepest back bend. Stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and your feet. Place your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Press your hips forward so your hips are over your knees. This is a great hip flexor stretch. Keep your eyes open and start to look up towards the ceiling. Lift your nose and chin. And if it feels good, let your head drop back. Option to stay here or go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels yet, keep your hands on your back instead. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up, relax your head back. When you're ready, place your hands on your lower back, press yourself up, have up last, stretch up, sit down, turn around, Savasana. I always think there's something about camel pose on a Wednesday, camel pose on hump day, right in the middle of the week. Um, this is a great posture for releasing some tension from the front of the body, especially, you know, sometimes like work and, and the stress of the midweek can kind of catch up with us. And this is a, a nice opportunity to let the physical embodiment of that go. So you can just relax a little bit deeper. Second set, legs together, arms overhead, chin to chest, sit up. Good, come to the top of your mat, second set. You can open your knees a little wider, eight to 10 inches between your knees, six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. You might try bringing your elbows closer together behind you. Press your hips forward, lift your chin and chest, look up. You can release your head back and stay here or go back halfway. You can keep your hands on your back or left hand down, grab your left heel, right hand down, grab your right heel, hips forward, chest up, chest up, chest up, hold and breathe. Place your hands on your back, change, press yourself up, stretch up, sit down, turn around, Savasana. Let that one go. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. After our back bend, we round forward, grab it, Sasangasana. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Big stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, slowly go down. Forehead to knees, hop with head to floor. Pull in your heels, don't lose the grip. Option to stay here or lift your hips up. If there's a gap between knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together, roll forward, lock your arms, lift your shoulders, stomach in, round your spine like a bunny. Bring your hips down to your heels and change, slowly uncurl. So your head comes up last. Turn around, Savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, breathe. Legs together, arms over head, chin to chest, sit up. Come to the middle of your mat, second set rabbit, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, big stretch up, chin to chest, slowly go down. 
forehead to knees, top of head to floor. Pull on your heels, don't lose the grip. Lift your hips up. Keep the tops of your feet, ankles, shins, and knees firmly fixed on the floor. This is the last posture in this sequence where we're stretching out through the lower body. Squeeze your heels together, roll forward, lock your arms, lift your shoulders, stomach in, round your spine. Bring your hips down and change. Slowly uncurl, savoring every moment. Head up last, turn around, savasana. Spine realigns, breath slows. Concentrate and meditate. Be here now. Legs together, arms overhead, chin to chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your mat for head to knee. Johnny Sharasana, two sets, right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your right foot, flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, suck your stomach in, lean to the left. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg in, two legs make an L, big stretch up, turn to your left, chin to chest, forehead to knee, press your heel forward, flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, right elbow down, right hip down, two hips and shoulders in line. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay down and sit up. <sighs> Paschimottanasana, stretching, bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with middle and index fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left, 10 to 15 times, more than you think you should. Knees can stay bent if it helps you keep a flat back. If your legs are straight, lock your legs, pop up your chest and start to fold forward, shoulders back, stomach to thighs, pull, chest to knees, stretch, one day forehead and toes touch. Change, come on up, turn around, Savasana. Legs together, arms overhead, chin to chest, sit up. <laughs> Second set, right leg out, left leg in. Sole of left foot pushes into inner right thigh. Make sure that your leg is not on top of your foot. Big stretch up. Turn to your right, chin to chest, forehead to knee. Um, if you bend your right leg to touch your forehead to your knee, in the second set, you might try sliding your heel forward so the leg, leg lengthens. Flex your toes back, elbows down, left shoulder down, left knee down, two hips and shoulders in line. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg in, working the hips and core, big stretch up, turn to your left, chin to chest, forehead to knee. This is our third and final compression, Johnny Shirasana posture, pull your abdomen in, tuck your chin to your chest, bend your elbows down, right hip down, right shoulder down, roll into the right. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. Can stay here or lay down and sit up. <sighs> Second set, stretching, bend your knees, hook onto your big toes, thumbs up, middle with it, middle and index fingers, thumbs on top. Scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left, 10 to 15 times. Can even pull your butt out from under you if it helps you um, lengthen from the lower spine. Lock your legs, puff up your chest and fold. Rather than rounding your spine, think about lengthening from the lower back, middle back, all the way to the upper back, shoulders back, spiral inner thighs down, flex pinky toes back, pull and stretch. Change, come on up, turn around, Savasana. Breathe. Legs together, arms overhead, chin to chest, sit up. Best sit up yet. <sighs> Come to the middle of your mat, Ardha Matsandrasana, half floor to the fish pose. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee, point your left toes. Right hand close behind you like a second spine. Left arm up and over, grab your left knee with your left hand, hand to heel and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over, right shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you for balance. You can also take it off the floor and grab your hip, your waistband. You can reach behind you, reach for your left thigh with your right hand for a bind. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. 
change. Unwind, swap out your legs, bend your right leg on the floor, touch left heel to right knee. You can also straighten your top leg. You can also do this posture on your back if that feels better. Left hand behind you, right arm up and over, grab right knee with right hand, point your right toes. Inhale, stretch up, exhale with that twist. Oh, that feels good today. You can keep your left hand behind you. You can also reach for your right thigh with your left hand, drop your right knee down, left foot down, shoulders down, chest up, stomach in, big stretch up. Look back, turn and twist. Change, unwind, turn around, savasana. Legs together, arms overhead, chin to chest, sit up. Final breathing, kapalbhati. Come to the middle of your mat, sit well. You can sit in vajrasana firm with knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. You can also sit on your back, crisscross applesauce. You're going to exhale through your mouth. As you exhale through your mouth, pull your abdomen in. When the stomach relaxes, the lungs will automatically take in air. So this is all about the exhale breath. It's a cleansing breath, letting everything go. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times. Concentrate and meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. four, three, two, one. Lock your arms, drop your shoulders, lift your chest. You can experiment with trying a slightly faster pace in the second set if you'd like. Sit up nice and tall and begin. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Final salasana. You can close your eyes. Open your arms and legs as much or as little as you'd like. Take a nice soothing breath in through the nose. And let it go through the exhale breath. Lie here as long as you'd like, especially if you have time, make time can be the most powerful part of a yoga practice, right? Just lying still and kind of enjoying all of the fruits of your labor. When you do choose to leave, get up mindfully, take your time, drink lots of water, drink lots of water, drink lots of water. I look forward to practicing with you soon. <laughs>